Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to Alan's Tech Report. Today, we got another video on how to jailbreak your iPod 4th generation or iPod 2nd and 3rd generation on firmware 4.1. So that's right, 4.1, it's finally released. Uh, there's, no, there's no special ISP uh, firmware to load on the iPod. You should have to use a uh, small program called Lime, Lime Rain, which you can go to Google and search for Lime Rain. The official Lime Rain is at www.limerain with the one instead of the i.com. Once you get there, go ahead and download whether you have a PC or Mac. Once you do that, uh, it'll be saved on your folder, with whichever folder you uh, desire to save your downloads files. Now, once you do that, uh, you want to go ahead and uh, go to iTunes. You're going to go go ahead and go to iTunes and obviously go ahead and connect your iPod. And we're going we're gonna to go ahead and make sure that your iPod or iPhone is on firmware 4.1. So, we don't want to... Waste a little, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure, once again, like I said, uh, we're on firmware 4.1, and that's what we're at on our iPod Touch. In this, in this uh, scenario, in this video, we're talking about the, we're gonna be unlocking, or I'm sorry, jailbreaking the iPod Touch 4th generation. So as you guys can see also I'm gonna be I'm gonna show you here under settings making sure that we are on 4.1 and there you guys you guys can see that 4.1 so once you make sure on iTunes and on your iPod itself that you under 4.1 firmware on iPhone 3GS iPhone 4 iPhone 3G and iPod Touch 2nd, 3rd and 4th generation including the new iPod 4 Gen. We're gonna go ahead and launch Line Rain. So once you launch Line Rain, it's just like Spirit. I don't know, if I'm, I'm pretty sure most of you guys are familiar with the Spirit jailbreak. It's exactly the same thing. So you're gonna go ahead and click where it says Make It Rain. Once you click on make it rain, it'll turn off your iPod and it'll start jailbreaking the iPod. It'll start uh, loading up the files, the um, jailbreak, and you're just gonna see on the window, which you definitely wanna pay attention on this little window right here. You're gonna see that it's gonna ask you to turn off the, the to hold the power and the home button. So when you hold those two for six seconds, it'll tell you to release the power button so you go ahead and release it and you still hold the home button until it tells you there to go ahead and release it you'll see right away that it says um, the, it's jailbreaking the iPod and you just completely release all your hands or your fingers and you'll see the icon of the line rain on the iPod and don't don't freak out if you don't see the icon it happened to me the first time um, it actually um, didn't jailbreak it I had to do it twice and the second time it actually showed me the icon and as well uh, it came up with the icon here on the line ring so look let me go ahead and go to the other camera and zoom in for you guys okay here we go so now we're on the second camera here and as you guys can see here, I have Line Rain right there, and it shows Cydia. So you wanna go ahead and install Cydia right here, and install. Um, wanna make, you wanna make sure that you're very close to your Wi-Fi uh, connection, as in your router. You wanna be as close as possible. The reason being is because uh, you, you do wanna make sure that this gets downloaded 100% so you don't get any errors. And even if you get errors, Go ahead and try to uh, install it again, and 
uh, it won't, the phone will just turn off after that. You have to turn it on again and you should be able to see your Cydia icon. If you don't see it, go ahead and you don't have to jailbreak it again. You just have to go to Line Rain again and install Cydia again. Uh, it took me twice, two times, um, two tries to finally get this uh, done. So I actually was able to jailbreak it finally 100%. The same thing on the iPhone. I had to do this twice on the iPhone. Uh, been on firmware 4.1 once again. So finally, after Cydia, it's all complete and installed. You can go ahead and go to Line Rain and delete, or you can just leave it there. I just leave it there just so I can make this video and you guys can see it. But after that, I'm probably gonna delete it. Just, just you don't need it anymore. And then obviously I right away went and go ahead and got installed so we can get the apps for free. And that's pretty much it guys. Uh, pretty simple. Once again we are under 4.1 uh, firmware which is the most updated firmware from Apple. And this is working on the iPod Touch 4 generation. Here you go with the camera. And also let me go ahead and do a little close up here on the iPhone 3GS. Oops sorry. Here's the iPhone, the white iPhone 3GS. And let me show you here that I job broke it. And there it is, Cydia and Sour, and as well, Lime Rain. So, there you go. And then we're gonna go ahead and show you here that we're on the firmware 4.1 jailbroken the iPhone 3GS and there it is firmware 4.1 so that's it guys uh, there's really not much uh, uh, to deal with in terms of uh, specific firmware to upload or any uh, other hacks just making sure that you have up, up, uh, updated to the latest firmware which is 4.1 uh, whether you're jailbreaking an iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, iPhone 3G or also the iPod Touch 4th gen, 3rd gen, or 2nd gen. I, I don't have a 1st gen, so I haven't tried it on that one. I do have the 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, and I tried it on all of them, and I, it was successfully done. So that's all for this video, guys. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. And I'm going to be making some really cool videos coming up about some applications that I found out that um, will that has to do with uh, the iPod and the iPad yes the iPod touch and the iPad so I'll be uh, making another video pretty soon don't forget to subscribe rate and comment and uh, I'll see you then bye bye